Hey there, let's talk about the four step branding focus strategy to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Hornell from here. And today we are talking about the 12th of our top 20, well, my top 20 favorite ways to grow and build and supersize a business. Of course, there are infinite possibilities in how you can go about doing this. And there are infinite ways to apply each of these strategies, even just the top 20 that I've selected to talk about at the beginning of this year. But I'm breaking it down to four steps, four key steps that if you do this, you can test out this strategy and determine if it's right for you and your business or not. So what are the four steps to creating a focused branding? Number one, brand analysis. Number two, define your brand strategy. Number three, brand communication. And number four, brand monitoring. So what do each of these steps entail? Number one, we have to analyze what's going on with our brand right now. Whether you believe it or not, you already have a bland. A, a bland. You might have a bland brand, but you have a brand whether you've created it on purpose or not. Our brand is how we are viewed in our industry and in the outside world by other people. It's not necessarily how we view ourselves. It usually isn't the same thing unless we have strategically created our brand and we are putting out in the world the information and the things in, in the way that we want to. And that's what this strategy is all about. So what's going on in the marketplace? Where are we positioned? What is our current brand identity? Do we have one? Have we created it? Or have we allowed the market to create it for us? Step two, define your brand strategy. What do you want it to be? Develop a clear and consistent brand message, values, and visual identity. Uh, done that for several businesses I've been involved in. Do not have my own personal one. And again, here's an example of me uh, knowing I should do something, but I'm not actually doing it. So that's probably going to go on my list for personal growth and development this year is to actually get serious about creating and crafting my personal brand. Uh, step three is brand communication. How are we going to get the message out there effectively of our brand, who we are, what we stand for, what we want to be, uh, what our core values are, uh, what is our marketing message? How are we going to present that, etc.? We want to, that's step three of communicating our brand, right? First, we want to figure out where we are. Second, we want to create what it is that we want to create, our brand strategy. Third, we want to roll that brand strategy out. And fourth, we want to monitor our brand. How is the new brand or how is our rebrand? People rebrand all the time. How is our rebrand working out for us? Um, we want to monitor, monitor what people think about the brand. Do they believe it? Uh, over time, we, we create different brands for our business. We all can think of brands that we like and brands that we don't like. Ask ourselves today, why do we like certain brands and not others? Uh, I find that, that brands that stand up for things that are politically active, I don't like them very much because I think they're flim flammy and they go from one thing to the next based on the, the political views of the day. And if they do that with, and if they talk about it and if they port it and throw it out into the world, unless they're a business that should be doing that, in my opinion, of course, then I don't necessarily trust them because they're not consistent. They're not sticking true to what they stand for and what they believe and what their core values really are. They're going with the waves of popularity and the times. And that means that it's more about a popularity contest for them than it is for them being true to who they are. And more importantly, being true to serving the people that they're here to serve. So love to know your take on this. Do you have a focus brand? Uh, and is this an area that you want to see improvement? And me, definitely, personal standpoint, want to do some branding this year and improve it. But uh, for my businesses, we're pretty consistent across the board with the respect to the businesses that I'm involved in. We do these things because we know how important it is to be consistent and to be true to the people that we serve and our core values and our mission and purpose and principles, etc. All right, that's it. Have an awesome day. Share in the comments below your uh, thoughts on this particular strategy for supersizing and growing your business. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow with number 13 of our top 20. Have an awesome day.